This is a vintage York nut sheller, uh, very heavy duty, the Texan model. Um, we do well with like nut shellers and nut crackers. Um, this one comes in the original box, as you can see. Uh, but I did take an offer of $15 on this. I had it up for, I think, $24. And someone was like, I'll give you an offer of $15. I was like, fine. I listed about 50 hats yesterday, and several of them sold today, so I'm excited. Uh, this is a Wired Magazine hat, and it's funny because there was another one listed on eBay for like $6. Uh, I listed mine higher <laughs> because I was thinking once that $6 one sells, then this one will be the only one, and it sold for 20 bucks. This is a Florida Baseball League Kissimmee Cobras hat. Uh, I don't know if that's a team anymore, uh, but I did price this a little bit high because it's definitely somebody's really got to know that team to want this. And it sold for $30. This is an awesome Cleveland Browns vintage trucker hat. Never been worn. I love it. It's great. It sold for $60. This is a vintage still brand chainsaw hat. Um, people are super into this brand. So the regular ones that are just like orange or brown sell for like 50 bucks. So I thought, you know what, this one's camo. It's pretty awesome. I'm going to put it up for 80 and it's sold overnight to someone in Australia. Um, the, <laughs> which is odd, but the weird thing is it was not in global shipping. It's just a hat. I don't know why it got kicked out of global shipping, but I'm sending it priority mail to Australia and he paid $46 to have it shipped because it's priority mail, one pound. Crazy, right? But someone really wanted it. This is a tartan plaid uh, made in Ireland newsboy cap. Um, you can see definitely vintage. Um, this guy, I had this up for $50 because it is vintage. It is wool, totally from Ireland. Uh, and this guy kept being like, you should put a lower price on this, blah, blah, blah. He messaged us twice, I think. And I think the first time we just ignored him. Like, uh, if he wants to make an offer, he should say what he wants. So finally, Jay wrote him back and was like, all right, we're open to offers. And he was like, how about 30 So, you know, 30 is great. I'm happy with that. It sold for 30 this is a true vintage, made in the USA, Dickies work shirt, sold to some hipster in New York City for $25. This is a Genius brand um, salad chopper set. I think it's one of those like as seen on TV things. I'm not quite sure. We found it at a thrift store, probably got it cheap, and it sold for $40. Not bad. This is a Coldwater Creek, new with tags gunmetal ruffled leather bag really pretty and it sold for sixty dollars these are a pair of military hats um, they have insulated ear flaps they're new never used and they sold for twenty five dollars each so a total of fifty dollars to the same person this is a very cool green wool uh, Irish tweed men's jacket it is vintage um i had this up for kind of high i forget i think it was like 120 and someone offered 40 and i said yes <laughs> i don't know why i think because it's so big it's like a 2xl um it's kind of an interesting color that not a lot of people would want um so i said all right someone wants it and the sad thing is I had to open an unpaid item case against this person because they didn't pay for like four days. Um, and finally they paid last night. So 40 bucks, it's out the door. So last week at our local thrift store, I was going through the linens and sheets and stuff and I found this Harry Potter, um, it's the school logos, like the school crests. Uh, it's a fitted sheet and it's flannel. Um, and since I only had the fitted sheet, I didn't have any pillowcases or blankets or anything like that. I put it up for $18.99 and it sold. This is a vintage hat. It is uh, like a fedora. It's got the size in it. Um, the band has some wear. 
So I actually took an offer of $20 on this. So we went to this little secondhand shop um, in our town uh, a week ago, and he had a bunch of uh, Disneyland stuff. So we bought this menu. It's in good shape. Looks like someone just brought it home. And it sold for $50. We bought the whole lot. It was a menu, a book, like a guide to Disneyland, and then a big map for $20. So this first thing sold for $50. So we're happy about that. These are a pair of Johnson & Murphy wingtips. Um, they're beautiful. They're made in the USA. They have a leather sole. Um, but unfortunately, they do not have a size listed anywhere. So I measured the insole and did an approximate size, and we took an offer of $30 on these because of that. So hopefully it will fit this person. This is an Irish linen uh, tea towel that says the housewife's arms. So it's like a crest. It's kind of silly. Um, it does say pure Irish linen. It's signed by Blackstaff. Um... And I listed this and it sold within an hour for 20 bucks. This is a little leather ammo pouch. Uh, Jay got it in Amsterdam. Looks like it's never been used or lightly used. And we sold it for $36.99. This is a beautiful dance, as you can see. Mid-century modern stainless antique bottle opener. It does say dance right there. And the back of the box does say made in Germany, if you can see that, it's not focusing, made in Germany, um, so you know it's vintage, and it sold for $50. Pretty cool. This is a set of 28 brass napkin rings. I bet someone's going to use them for Thanksgiving, Christmas, or a wedding, and they sold for $50. This is a set of vintage lithographed um, note cards with recipes for cookies, sand tarts, Swedish crescents. Um, there's a couple different designs, and I've had these for a long time, and they sold for $36.99. This is a vintage 1970s jar opener in the box. Uh, I'm sure we picked this up for a couple cents. Uh, it's just cool. I like the box that it's in and it's useful so it sold for $13 these are two sets of fondue forks uh, in the original package um, I'm thinking they're doing fondue for the holidays and they bought two sets so one set was $25 so two sets together was a sale of $50 this is an old dial-up modem, one of the first ones uh, from the 90s, the early 90s, Adtran. Um, and it sold, I can't believe it sold actually, I thought we're not going to sell this. But um, it did sell pretty fast and it sold for $30. Global shipping to someone in Hong Kong. These are a pair of vintage Joyce brand women's shoes. I've had them for a long time, so I was willing to take an offer. I had them up for $50. She offered $18.99, which I know is crazy, but I would love to move these because they're like three years old. They're really cute. So $18.99 and they're gone. These are two Super 70s Hansel and Gretel and Jack and the Beanstalk fairy tale books um, printed and made in the Netherlands, although we did buy them at a thrift store here. And we took a best offer of $20 on these. This is an L.L. Bean men's canvas and flannel lined uh, barn jacket. Uh, you can see L.L. Bean. It is not vintage. It's got this little embroidery on it. It's got a bunch of stains, so it's 50% off, so it sold for 20 bucks. This is the Rubik's Snake Puzzle. Um, we bought it for one euro in Amsterdam, not this year, but the year before, and it sold for $30. These are a set of six nautical-themed coasters in the original box. The brand is 
uh, Pimper now. And they sold for $36.99. Someone who listens to the podcast uh, was going through our store and gave me a bunch of offers. Um, this is two cedar boxes with Civil War um, photos. This is Ulysses, Ulysses S. Grant. And this is um, Jefferson Davis. President of the Confederate States of America. Um, and this is a, these are little soldiers um, from Iwo Jima. And these are freshwater pearl earrings. So she gave me offers of stuff. Um, Ten on these. I've had these for a long time, so I was thrilled. They are really nice, though. They're cedar boxes, which are very cool. So if you're into Civil War memorabilia, that's cool. Uh, Fifteen for these and 40 for these. I love stuff like this. It's just vintage hardware, new in the box. It's Ilco brand. It's a replacement cylinder for a deadbolt. It comes with the original keys and it sold for $16. This is a vintage Sears Craftsman, new in the box, carbide tip rotary planer for radial arm saws. And it sold for $25. This is a hand-knit uh, mohair beanie hat. It's kind of floppy, nice winter hat. And it sold for $25. Good sale. This is the Disneyland map. I'll show you a full picture of it on the computer. But um, we did just buy this with a menu and a guidebook. Um, they're from the 60s for 20 bucks. Um, I sold the menu um, just a few days ago for 50 bucks, and then this sold best offer for 110. So I'm happy spending 20 bucks on all this stuff. So this is the Disneyland map all unfolded. It is copyright 1962. If it's any earlier than that, from like the first printing, they can go for a lot of money. But this one sold for 110, which is still a great price. This is a Gap Wool Blend women's skirt. You can see, yep. Um, I just put a bunch of skirts up the other day and this sold for $20. This is a 1989 Eddie Bauer Christmas sweater with pewter buttons. It's got kind of a chunky knit. Um, you can see it's Eddie Bauer and it says 1989 right there. Um, a lot of my older sweaters are on sale, so this sold for $18.50 to someone in Alaska. This is a men's Eddie Bauer jacket, more Eddie Bauer, uh, cotton extra large, and it's also older, so it's on sale 50%, so it sold for $18.50. This is a vintage Zero King herringbone wool faux fur lined jacket, you can see. It says Zero King 100% virgin wool. Um, I actually think the inside is wool too, like a wool faux fur. It's kind of nice. But my older jackets are on sale again, so this sold for 40 bucks. This is a vintage faucet handle in chrome. Uh, it's like solid brass underneath the chrome, and it sold for $30. This is a vintage Sears country coat. Uh, it's corduroy. It's got a leather collar. Totally awesome 70s. It sold for $97 on Bonanza. Yay! This is a vintage artwork light that you can hang above paintings or a bookshelf. You can just put bulbs in there. It's got a switch on the cord. Comes in the original box. And it sold to someone through Global Shipping to Japan for $50. These are a pair of vintage German suspenders, military suspenders, um, never used. We bought it at a military surplus closeout. I think we had like 10 pairs of these. This is the last one, and it sold for $25. So this is one of those things that you just find in a bag that you bought, you know, like a briefcase. Um, this is a NATO summit that happened in Washington, D.C. in April 1999, um, the 50th anniversary summit coin. And again, we just found this in a bag. I didn't buy it on purpose, and it sold for $15. Here's a pair of 
totally mid-century pewter candle holders from Norway, new in the box. Um, I think I paid like, I don't know, $2 for these. And they sold for $40. 1990s Sony Sports Walkman with headphones. It's got a radio on it. And these were my favorite headphones in high school, middle school and high school. I loved them. They fit me perfectly. <laughs> uh, so that was awesome to find those. And this sold for 40 bucks. This is a cast iron um, sconce for a candle um, to be hung up on the wall. And this also sold for $40. This is a Mikasa brand solid wood um, serving bowl. It's got a nice shape to it. It's got a foot. Really pretty. And this sold for $65. Quite a nice price for a wooden bowl. This is a vintage paper cutter. It's solid maple and cast iron. Super sharp still. Definitely vintage. And it sold for $140. This is a vintage Cutco knife. Um, we heard about these through comments on the blog. Um, we do buy lots of knives, but I'd never heard of Cutco. Um, they have a lifetime guarantee, or I'm sorry, I think it's a forever guarantee. So anytime you find a Cutco knife that needs to be serviced or sharpened, they will do it. Um, in this case, you can see there's a big old chip there. Uh, I do not know if they will do this for free, but they will probably service this um, for a fee. Um, I had this up, I think, for $40, and someone offered $32, so I was very happy to take $32 on a knife that had a big chip on it. This is a cool little vintage stainless steel and wood scoop, and it says it measures one-fourth cup. And it's made in the United States of America, so you know it's vintage. And it sold for $15. Pretty cool. This is a Ludwig brand snare drum stand that's folded up. Um, we didn't pay very much money for it. We bought it in a big bundle of stuff. A huge bundle of stuff for like 50 bucks. And it sold, best offer, $40 global shipping program. These are a pair of Rocky brand, made in the USA. I don't know if that's focusing. Um, women's shoes, leather, nice soles. Looks like they haven't really been worn. And they sold for $37. That's it for this week. Bye.